A historic breakthrough as a bipartisan group of senators reach an agreement on gun legislation. Plus, we have continuing coverage as Madison police investigate a homicide on the city's east side. And making an impact in other countries with a warehouse full of treasures in Madison. A very special do something good story you will only see here. That's all coming up at 10. Well, Mother Nature will be keeping us on our toes this week with three alert days. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Charlotte, it's for heat, it's for humidity, and it's also for severe weather. Tomorrow, the, the uh, alert day is for severe weather. Potential for a round of strong to severe thunderstorms from mid-morning through mid to late afternoon. Damaging winds, perhaps as high as 75 miles per hour or greater, especially over southeastern Wisconsin. Hail and a possible tornado. This is the Gillette Labs with a Tuesday. High temperatures around 95. The heat index 100 to 105. That would tie a record for Madison. Wednesday, still hot and humid. High temperatures around 90. The record high is 93. Heat index between about 94 and 99. And then a round of strong to severe thunderstorms late in the afternoon into Wednesday evening. The time lapse from the WIC Skycam. We had some fog and drizzle this morning. And then as we got into the afternoon hours, the clouds started to break up and we had nice weather for the rest of the day. But severe thunderstorms are already developing in the Dakotas where severe thunderstorm watches has been issued. Those storms will roll across Iowa and Minnesota tonight. But right now, southern Wisconsin, precipitation free. Visibility looking good. Not seeing fog tonight like we did at this time last night. High temperatures today, very comfortable. 60s near Lake Michigan, but generally 70s inland. And you can see temperatures right now ranging from the mid-50s in Milwaukee, mid-60s here in Madison, to near 70 out toward La Crosse. By tomorrow morning, temperatures will drop into the mid-50s, but clouds will move in. Showers and thunderstorms will roll through during the morning and afternoon hours. The high of 82 probably will occur after the storms leave by early evening when temperatures could be close to 90 down toward the Illinois state line. Later on, I'll take a look at another round of severe weather and the heat in between. A string of deadly mass shootings is spurring Congress to take action. Today, a bipartisan group of senators say they've reached an agreement to limit some gun sales while funding school security and mental health programs. Elise Preston has the latest. Senate negotiators have struck a deal to move forward on gun control. On Sunday, lawmakers announced a framework for new laws to keep firearms out of the hands of potentially dangerous individuals. Gun control! The announcement came a day after protesters gathered in several cities to demand stronger gun laws. The message isn't that we hate all guns. It isn't that we are against the Second Amendment. It's to keep our communities safe. 20 senators signed a statement expressing support for the plan. Texas's John Cornyn was one of 10 Republicans to endorse it. Their involvement is seen as critical to getting any bill through the deadlock Senate. If it's life-saving and can make a difference, uh, and they have bipartisan support for it, uh, then we would welcome it, even though it won't be everything that we want. The deal includes no provisions for raising the minimum age to buy a gun. It does propose spending billions of dollars on mental health care and school security. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Today, the NRA said it would not respond to the framework announcement until it sees the full text of any proposed gun control bills. President Biden commented on the agreement today, thanking the bipartisan group on Twitter. He also said in part, the measure does not do everything he thinks is needed, but it reflects important steps in the right direction. Today's announcement comes as the nation remembers the victims of the deadliest attack on the LGBTQ community in American history. It was six years ago that 40 Nine people were killed when a man opened fire at Pulse nightclub in Orlando. More than 50 people were wounded in that overnight shooting. And today, 49 bells rang out at a special service to remember each person killed in the 2016 attack. It took place at the First United Methodist Church of Orlando, less than two miles away from the popular gay club, and included songs by the Orlando Gay Chorus. Florida's governor signed a proclamation ordering flags in the state to be flown at half-staff to honor the victims. Well, after holding its first public hearing last Thursday, this week, the January 6th committee continues to share its findings of what happened that day and in the days leading up to the attack. The second of the seven total hearings is scheduled for tomorrow. During that hearing, the committee says it will focus on former President Trump's election lies. The panel says the hearing will examine Trump's massive effort to spread false information about the 2020 election. Republicans like Congressman Jim Jordan, who is a focus of the investigation attempted to downplay the committee's work while committee chair Benny Thompson says the panel has a lot more to share. We have a number of witnesses who come forward 
uh, that people have not talked to before, uh, that will document a lot of what was going on uh, in the Trump orbit. Uh, while all of this was occurring. This was a um, partisan production put on by the former head of ABC News. I don't think we learned anything new. The third hearing is set for Wednesday with a fourth one to be held on Thursday the 16th. Madison police are investigating a homicide on the city's east side. Officers arrived at the 5600 block of Black Onyx Drive just before 530 this morning for reports of a disturbance. There they found a 23 year old man with a chest wound. He was taken to an area hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police say a person of interest is in custody and there is no longer a threat to the community. It is unclear what led to the incident. Also in Madison, one person was found dead after an apartment fire. Crews were sent to the 700 block of Braxton Place just before 6 o'clock this morning. After a caller reported smelling something burning, firefighters found evidence of a fire that had been self-extinguished in an apartment building. While searching the unit, one resident was found dead. Investigators do not believe the death is suspicious. They are still investigating what caused the fire. Looking ahead, a portion of State Highway 16 near Fall River will be closed for construction this week. Starting Wednesday, crews will begin replacing a bridge over the Crawfish River. Drivers will be rerouted to County Highway A and State Highway 60 while the bridge is out. The project is expected to wrap up in September. Local musicians are lending their talents to to help ensure the future of a true American art form. We're talking about jazz. Tahlil Mohadeen joins us now with those details. Members of the All That Jazz Big Band, many of them former educators, say their concert today was about giving back to the community, a chance to introduce more people to the world of jazz and really appreciate the sounds that change the music landscape. <laughs> As far as American art forms go, jazz is the only true original American art form. When all that jazz big band director Paul Heineke was asked to lend his talents for a cause, he didn't think twice. The band all agreed that that would be a great idea. Headlining Madison Jazz Society's concert fundraiser free of charge. All that jazz is helping make this year's event really special. This is the first year that in its entirety everything about it is, is a fundraiser. The money raised going directly to help schools across the state bring jazz into the classroom and the history that comes with it. Because of the melting pot of all the people coming together um, and the different oppression and, <laughs> and expression that happened in the United States, um, that music came alive. At a time when schools could use the extra help. Jazz education and music education in general has taken some real hits in their budgets. A former music teacher himself, Heineke knows how helpful these programs can be. For many, many years, we were able to purchase a lot of equipment and uh, just help our make our jazz program better. Even bringing in jazz artists and residents to get kids inspired. They'll do some improvisation with these children. Actually, kids are scatting in the classroom and uh, they're playing little instruments. Hoping to awaken the jazz spirit in the next generation. We're not going to be around forever. And we know that jazz is so important and we know that so many people enjoy jazz. This fundraiser was just one part of Madison's Jazz Festival, which is happening all week. The events span across the city with additional concerts, discussions, and even a commemoration of jazz giant Duke Ellington's residency at UW-Madison in 1972. Tahalil, thank you. Colorful canoers could be seen at Tenney Park this morning. That's because Fool's Flotilla returned to Madison. The event allows people to bring canoes, kayaks, and other floatable objects to the Yahara River. Boaters dressed in costumes and floated down the river in a boat parade. One organizer told us holding events like this helps people appreciate the city's natural sources of fun. We really believe that when people come to the river and experience it and enjoy it, then they want to protect it. And so it's, uh, it's a great event to get people together and have fun and enjoy our water. Today's event is part of the annual Marquette Waterfront Festival. An iconic ice cream brand that started right here in Madison is celebrating multiple occasions today. It's been 60 years since Nancy and Chuck Dedman whipped up their first batch of ice cream and served it on Monona Drive. The chocolate shop has become 
such a staple in Madison that the city has agreed to name June 12th Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Day. To celebrate, Chocolate Shop threw a big birthday bash offering 60 cent cones all day at their Madison locations. Just an outpouring of love and appreciation for us and being in this neighborhood. Yeah, people have definitely been appreciative and excited. And today is not only the company's birthday, but also the founder, Nancy's, as well. It's a Wisconsin idea that's making a huge difference in other countries. Coming up, learn how a special nonprofit is providing medical help to those who need it and giving new life to a cache of supplies. one 800 got junk can bring the springtime anytime. Oh! <laughs> yes! We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call one 800 got junk or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. This is the Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar. The bar in the handle removes unseen dirt and debris ahead of the blades for an effortless shave and one efficient stroke. Listen, I'm done settling because this is my secret. I put it on once, no more touch-up. Secret has pH balancing minerals and it helps eliminate odor instead of just masking it. So pull it in close, secret works. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card, our most popular membership for zero enrollment and only $24.99 a month. With access to 2,000 plus locations, bring a friend every time you visit. I love friends. And relaxing massage chairs. Hmm, that makes me so happy. The PF Black Card is your ticket to all the perks. Look at that glow. Oh, it's all natural. It's this place, I tell you. So get glowing and feel fantacular for zero enrollment and only $24.99 a month. Deal ends Wednesday, June 15th. At 3 o'clock, Carter's campaign for class president will go live. His platform... Thirsty for cake? Juice boxes for all. At 4, Liz will put online. And win. Brandy will stream her first concert and gain her first band. Which is why at 2, I'm down the street preparing for the storm. So no matter what, the show will go on. After all, we're the nationwide network built by locals for locals. U.S. Cellular. Out here, we know a thing or two about beef. hy V knows beef, too. Only six out of a hundred cattle are even good enough to bear the high V brand. Only six out of a hundred. Quality like that is hard to find. So enjoy your high V steak this weekend. You've earned it. 1-800-GOT-JUNK can bring the springtime anytime. Oh! <laughs> yes! We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. A new law has banned the sale of infant sleep products you may have in your home. Monday, we'll tell you why and share tips on others that could also be avoided. And we are turning up the heat. 90 degrees could be back next week. That's Monday morning from 4.30 to 7. News 3 now at 10. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television. My dad died at the turn of the new year. He was a retired doctor who also went on yearly medical missions to the Philippines where my family is from. But he wasn't able to make the last trip, leaving us with countless bins of equipment and supplies. In an attempt to find a place for all of that, I ended up driving it here to Madison to a little known nonprofit that not only excitedly took everything, but is making sure the intention my dad had for his medical inventory would be fulfilled. Now this story isn't about my dad, but it's about those like him who know we have it pretty good here and it's important to help others in need and share what we can in order to make our world healthier and happier. What started in 1999 when Dr. Bernie Mickey and a group of physicians traveled to Camagüey, Cuba. We pretty much saw that they were doing really good medicine, but lacked stuff turned into return trips with doctors packing suitcases with medical supplies. Even 
gloves and suture and things that we really take for granted here. The idea grew into Dr. Mickey and Dr. Jack Kenny's Wisconsin Medical Project in 2003. For nearly 20 years now, they've collected just about everything. Gloves, syringes, catheters, blood pressure machines, exam tables, you name it. Most come from hospitals, clinics, and facilities across South Central Wisconsin, bound for Cuba, and now Africa. What uh, these um, Wisconsin medical projects are doing, um, they can measure the impact. They have to be there to witness that. Yokuba Traore is a volunteer and from Africa's Ivory Coast, where outside the cities, people struggle. When you go to the rural part of the country, uh, there's a lack of equipment. <clears throat> and so this is a lifeline to this population. Yokuba was there last November when the 40-foot container arrived. He saw people in need receiving the life-changing durable goods. Someone thinks his birth was crawling because he couldn't work. And then all of a sudden he's getting at age 25, 26, a first world chair that he can be independent. He says Wisconsin Medical Project is a perfect example of the Wisconsin idea, making sure what we do here has an impact on the rest of the world. The retired physicians here taking their time, taking their energy and their money, collecting uh, medical supplies to send to far away uh, land where they have not foot, set foot there, they don't even know the people, and they're doing that from the good of their heart. Folks who volunteer twice a week to sort, catalog, pack, tape, wrap, and move supplies that are guaranteed to make a world of difference. We are very lucky here in the United States. We need to really think more globally, more equitably about the world. So you don't have to be in the medical field to help the organization. I've learned they could really use pediatric gear like wheelchairs and other mobility equipment. They'll even take your old AFOs, leg braces if you have them. Also money. It costs about six to $7,000 just to ship a single container. So please check out their website for all of their needs, wismedproject.org and click on the how to help tab. A few weather alert days coming up this week. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti tells us what to expect. Yeah, one, two, three, right in a row. Tomorrow, severe thunderstorm threat. Possibility for some damaging straight line winds as well as an isolated tornado. Then the heat on Tuesday. High temperatures around 95. That would tie a record for Madison. And the heat index will be somewhere between about 100 and 105 thanks to the high humidity. Wednesday, a combination of both. Heat and humidity. Highs around 90. Just short of the record high of 93, but heat index values in the mid to upper 90s and then a round of strong to severe weather late in on Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. For the heat, boy, just stay hydrated. Take some breaks if you're outside. Try to stay in air conditioning as much as possible. Wear lightweight or light colored clothing and make sure you check on folks that are elderly or the very young. They're more susceptible to heat, especially when it continues at night because if you don't have air conditioning, boy, that puts a real stress on your body. Doppler track tonight, quiet across Wisconsin, but here come the storms. They're starting to develop across uh, western Iowa into uh, South Dakota, where a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect until 3 a.m. Tomorrow, the severe weather threat moves through southern Wisconsin mid to late morning through the early to mid-afternoon hours. Highest severe weather threat over southern Wisconsin, level two. A lot of that will just depend on the timing of the storms. Uh, the later they occur, the more likely they are to be severe. The high wind threat, this area that's hatched, possibility for straight line winds of 70 five miles per hour or greater. That's hurricane force. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Tornado threat, about a 5% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a point or about the size of Dane County. So uh, that can't be ruled out. And then also the potential for some hail. On Tuesday, the severe weather threat shifts back to the north and west along a cold front. We're going to stay dry during the day on Tuesday. If we see any thunderstorms, it'll be late Tuesday night and they'll be weakening before they reach much of southern Wisconsin. The higher severe weather threat, not a very high one to our north and west. But then as that cold front moves eastward and collides, 
coincides with the hot and humid air on Wednesday. It'll be coming through in the late afternoon and evening hours. Much better threat for severe weather. Storm Prediction Center already has a day four severe weather outlook for all of Wisconsin. Here's what happens on future track. Quiet tonight, but here come the storms out of the Dakotas through Minnesota and then racing southeast. Watch how fast those storms move. That's about a three to a four hour time period. They move through Madison around noontime and notice the orientation of the uh, of the radar echoes here. If this does actually occur, you're going to see some very strong straight line winds and notice how quickly they move out. By six o'clock, they're already in Ohio. Then we clear out. Here comes the heat that builds in as we head into Tuesday. High temperatures in the middle 90s. Some more thunderstorms to the, mainly to the north and west for Tuesday night. And then the atmosphere reloads for Wednesday as the storms develop out to the west. They'll be here sometime uh, late to Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. Tomorrow, high of 82 after thunderstorms. So the high will be late in the day, but again, possibility for some severe weather. Here come the storms racing through around noontime. Again, that bow echo there. Possibility for strong straight line winds. We clear out temperatures start to warm up late tomorrow afternoon quiet and muggy for tomorrow night and then highs in the mid 90s on Tuesday with heat index readings into the triple digits rainfall amounts because of the fast movement of the storms around a half inch but some areas could pick up over an inch in heavier thunderstorms and as we look at the 7 to 10 day forecast once the storms clear out of here Wednesday night we're back to dry weather and temperatures that are comfortably warm low to mid 80s all the way through Father's Day weekend humidity levels will come down the humidity starts to come back early next week and maybe some thunderstorm changes chances by Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night of next week. All right, Gary, thank you very much. You're welcome. And then there were four. Team USA hoping to punch its ticket to the gold medal game tonight. More coming up in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's Ho-Chunk Gaming Cruise in the Dells Giveaways, where on June 24th, you'll have a chance to win a brand new Chevy Silverado truck, along with $1,500 in cash and $500 in rewards play. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells, your grown-up getaway. A lot of folks ask me why their dishwasher doesn't get everything clean. I tell them, it may be your detergent. That's why more dishwasher brands recommend Cascade Platinum. With the soaking, scrubbing, and rinsing built right in. For sparkling clean dishes the first time. Cascade Platinum. I thought I was getting my floors clean. And then I learned my mop could be loaded with bacteria. So I got a Swiffer WetJet to get a cleaner clean. The spray breaks down dirt and the pad absorbs it deep inside. Bye-bye. Try WetJet with a money-back guarantee. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. Red flags and sex trafficking often start with someone who showers you with attention and may seem the answer to all of your dreams, until they're not. They want to take care of you and impress you with their success. They move fast toward a romantic relationship and isolate you from friends and family. Then, they tell you that you owe them something in return. They demand you perform sex acts with others. Learn more at unitedmadison.com slash trafficking. Brought to you by United Madison in partnership with Collaboration Project. When President Trump called for a southern border wall, I didn't just agree. I built him a prototype. Tim Michaels, endorsed by President Trump. Now, instead of building the wall, Joe Biden's rolling out the red carpet for illegal immigrants. Totally, completely, utterly incompetent. Conservative Tim Michaels, endorsed by President Trump. For illegals, no driver's license, no benefits, no tuition. There's nothing racist about enforcing our laws. And when I'm governor, that's exactly what I'm going to do. is a celebration that brings the audience to its feet. Ain't too proud to be, as you know it. The Grammy-winning songs. The Tony-winning movies. Ain't too proud. The life and times of the temptations. At Overture Center, June 14th through 19th. Tickets at Overture.org. 
It's Ho-Chunk Gaming Cruise in the Dells Giveaways, where on June 24th, you'll have a chance to win a brand new Chevy Silverado truck, along with $1,500 in cash and $500 in rewards play. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells, your grown-up getaway. IIHF U18 Women's World Championship. Only a few teams remain, and of course, one of them is Team USA. Tonight, a rematch in the semifinals. United States taking on Sweden. The winner of this one heads to the gold medal game. U.S. on the attack early. Kelly Gorbentenko feeds Sydney Morrow, and she goes top shelf for goal number one. That score holds into the second period, where things start to heat up. Got fights, penalties, five on three opportunities. Sweden eventually ties it up, and then they punch in the go ahead. But a late game rally by Team USA earns them a spot in tomorrow's gold medal game. Final day of the AmFam Championship, and Jerry Kelly knew with the leaderboard being as close as it is, if he wanted a shot at three-peating at University Ridge, he would have to go low to give himself a chance. And the two-time defending champ, champ did just that. On 18 for birdie and to tie for the lead, Kelly just misses the putt. That was the story of his day, just missed opportunities. Kelly finishes 12 under, tied for third, two shots behind this year's champ, Tung Shai Jaidi. I putted well, they just didn't go in this time, but I gave myself some good looks. Uh, I don't know, I, was, I mean, I was really happy with the way things were going, and I was kind of expecting them to drop. Okay, any time now, and then I just I ran out of holes and didn't make them. I mean, I hit so many good putts that just didn't go, but uh, no, I'm, I'm proud of the way I played. Like Kelly, Steve Stricker got hot during the final round. The tournament host birdied 12, 13, and 14, but then ran out of gas, parring the final four holes to card a five under final round. Stricker finished nine under, tied for 11th, and knows it was just a little too late to put everything together. A little late, you know, to join the party, but it was um, some better things today. I putted off, although I didn't birdie into the par fives uh, today. It could have been a real special round, but. Um, <coughs> Just uh, didn't get it in the hole very well. One day after playing in the AmFam Championship Celebrity Foursome, Packer legend Brett Favre headed north for the Donald Driver Charity Softball Game, an event that he was a longtime host of before Driver took over. Today's game drew a large crowd at Fox City Stadiums as former and current players went up against one another to help raise money for the Donald Driver Foundation as well as other charities. And amongst the players, there were a couple special guests, and they were all excited to be out and about for a great cause. It's great to have our players out here with some Packer legends and to get to know those guys and also to be around our guys outside of the building. An amazing experience. Um, you know, it's always, it's always great just to get around guys who've been in your spot and, you know, are now playing at the highest level. So um, being around guys like A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones and guys who, you know, have been in my shoes and um, are at where I want to get to. So it's, it's always a good uh, opportunity. It's been 10 days since the Brewers last won a game. Eight straight losses heading to the series finale with the Nats. Crew jumping on those ch early chances. Runner on for Willie Adamas. He doubles to deep left, scoring Tyrone Taylor for the lead. Well, Adamas swinging that hot bat this afternoon. Couple innings later, he sends one to center for a two-run shot. Team leading 11th home run. Brewers finally snap the skid. They win this one 4-1. Joseph Newgarden not only avenged last year's loss today at Road America, but he can add another thing to his already impressive resume. The IndyCar driver is the winner of the Sancio Grand Prix, meaning he's won the trifecta this season. Road course, street course, and oval. Newgarden finished just ahead of Indy 500 winner Marcus Erickson and Alexander Rossi. All right, Jordan, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card, our most popular membership with 2,000 plus locations. Bring a friend every time you visit. I love friends. And relaxing massage chairs. Mm. Feel fittacular with the PF Black Card for zero enrollment, $24.99 a month. Deal ends June 15th. At Ho Chunk Gaming Madison, the switch is always on. It guarantees the highest average payout percentage in the region. This leads to better odds and more wins than any place else around. Nobody messes with the switch.
Don is flipping the way America does dishes. New Don Platinum Easy Squeeze. It's an upside down bottle with no cap. Just grab, squeeze, and Platinum's upgraded formula breaks down grease faster. Tackle grease wherever it shows up. No flip, no mess. Don Easy Squeeze. Did you know that Febreze AirFX uses 100% natural propellant? Cheaper aerosols use artificial propellants. That's why Febreze works differently. Plus, it eliminates odors with a water-based formula and no dyes. For freshness, you'll enjoy. Arby's New Market Fresh Lemonades are $1. Made with real fruit purees from real fruit, real cane sugar from real sugar cane, and real water from real water. Arby's, we have the meat. It's Make My Mondays at hy V. This Monday, get Lay's only $1.48. Bar S Hot Dogs, only 68 cents. Origami Cantaloupe, only $1.99 each. And Simply Done Bath Tissue or Paper Towels, only $2.99. Monday only. For more ways to save on hundreds of items every day at hy V, check out our monthly catalog, our weekly ad, and scan the QR code to visit hyvdeals.com for even more deals. News 3 Now, winner of 18 Awards of Excellence from the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. We'll continue to strive for excellence every day to bring you the area's best local news coverage. News 3 Now. Get the Planet Fitness Black Card, our most popular membership with 2,000 plus locations. Bring a friend every time you visit. I love friends. And relaxing massage chairs. Mmm. Feel fit-tacular with the PF Black Card for zero enrollment, $24.99 a month. Deal ends June 15th. Pee off with us June 13th at the Geo's Garden Golf Classic. And here come those alert days. Yeah, we've got a line of severe thunderstorms in central South Dakota. That's where the storms are tonight. But they'll be moving eastward through Minnesota and Iowa overnight, reaching southern Wisconsin sometime mid to late morning. Severe weather outlook for tomorrow. Level 2 severe weather risk uh, because there's still some uncertainty as to how well those storms will hold together. But if they do congeal into a line, we could see some high winds of 75 miles an hour or greater in that hatched area over southeastern Wisconsin. Temperatures right now pretty comfortable, but the heat and humidity are building. We have alert days in the forecast for severe weather tomorrow and then for heat Tuesday and severe weather and heat Wednesday. All right. Thank you.